Here I'm going to feature some really cool effects created by one of my subscribers. He submitted this to me uh, recently. Okay, uh, dear Dr. Bessie, I highly appreciate your YouTube series, Hidden Structures, especially the videos dealing with Bessie sequences posted recently. Find attached an application I worked out. It's actually two applications, as we'll see. I am a retired math teacher. He's living in, I believe, Austria right now. And he's the author of numerous books. I looked him up, and that is true. Numerous books on math-based magic. And here is a URL that will take you to a library that features uh, most, if not all, of his publications. Kind regards, Werner Miller. So I thought we would take a look at what this subscribers come up with. So um, g given his credentials, if you look at all of the publications he's put out, um, perhaps none of us should be surprised by the ingenuity of what he's doing in both of these applications. So I thought we would step through these and I'll tie it to my Bessie Sequence series. So the first one is over here on the left. So I'll go ahead and just demonstrate it and then we'll step through um, how it works and, and why it works, actually. Okay, so what we need is we need the four queens, or four of a kind. So any four of a kind would do just fine. So I went ahead and just followed his recommendation there, the four queens. I'll move those over so you can see them. And then four what are called spot cards, um, or just n number cards. That's what a lot of us call them, just number cards. Okay, so non-face cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, just uh, stack these two sets of four cards on top of each other. And then we're going to perform, and you can follow along here, a false cut. Uh, I've shown on my channel many different ways if you do an overcoating, meaning spell out half or more than half of the cards, uh, it preserves these blocks here, um, as we can see right here. So there's a number of ways of supposedly mixing the cards uh, without really changing the fundamental relationship here. Okay. So he recommends a manche. It doesn't actually matter which one, over, under, under, over, which is wonderful. So we'll do it over, under, over, under, over, under, over, okay? And then from there, what he does is he says, okay, go ahead and mange, shuffle the top four as a group of four. Okay, so what that means is you, you go ahead and push over the top and then you can do over, over, under, or under, over. So here's the second card, third card goes over, under, <laughs> fourth card goes over. Okay, so we've manged, shuffle the top four. And then you do the same thing for the bottom four. You mon shuffle those. And then you can randomly stack these, actually, if you would like. And what that will do is it will actually arrange those cards in a Bessie arrangement, this Bessie sequence. And so you can probably see this without me actually pointing it out. But if you focus on the face cards here, on the queens, so we have a, a queen right there, so that's associate, you could be associated with one. Come over here to the fourth position, there's a queen. Come over here to the uh, sixth position, it's a queen. Seventh position is a queen, okay? So this is in this special arrangement that we've been using in this series devoted to Bessie sequences. So what we've done there is just a very clever way of starting with a block of four cards on top, a block of four cards on the bottom. You do a mon shuffle, a full one, and then you mon shuffle the top four cards, and then separately from those, you mon shuffle the bottom four cards, and then random stack. And as we'll see, that's actually another way. In fact, I've actually I went out of my way to kind of write it up here. We'll talk about it in just a few minutes, but it's a really cool way, actually, to go from this kind of structure to a Bessie sequence. So very, very clever, okay? So, and then what he does from here is you can go ahead 
and perform any of the shuffles that we've been um, using throughout this series. Now, the one that he happened to choose to focus on is this dealing out into four pairs. Okay, so you've seen this before. And uh, you'll know from watching the series that we can uh, stack from left to right or right to left. Uh, we can even do a leapfrog um, stacking. Okay, so we can do a few more of those. But really, at this point, you can do any of the 20, 30 shuffles that I've shown you. Maybe now we'll go from right to left and actually do a leapfrog kind of stacking. And so you would do as many of those as you like or the spectator likes. And then you can mix in many of the other shuffles as well. If you want to throw in a Klondike, that would be just fine. You can ask the spectator, how many of these would you like? You want three of them, so perform three of them. You can do an Australian down under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Uh, last one goes on top. <laughs> We're all done. Okay, so any one of those, like I said, 20 to 30 shuffles so far that I have demonstrated and explained. And then from there, he does something that's extremely clever as well. And the reality is Warner Miller actually came up with these very, very quickly because it wasn't soon after I posted these Bessie sequences that he shot off this email to me with these wonderful, these two wonderful applications. <laughs> so once again, it kind of shows that, uh, you know, maybe he did indeed write a lot about math-based magic, which he did. So he's just very, very ingenious. Okay, so what he recommends here is, um, if you would like, uh, it's kind of optional, but if you like to kind of peek the bottom card, queen, Okay. Now what that will mean in the end when we go to like separate these into two uh, little packets, it means that the queens will be the ones that are dealt first to the table and the numbered cards will still be in your hand. If you forget to do that, it's not the end of the world because we're going to go ahead and succeed nonetheless, as you'll see. Okay, so here is another clever part here. So what he says to do is to go ahead and spell off four of a kind, four of a kind. And the spectator, of course, saw that we had four of a kind. They saw that we had four queens, which could have been freely chosen by them. So how you do this is you, you spell off without reverse counting. You go F-O-U-R, put the next one down, four. And now we're going to do of, O, F, Put the next one down, and now we're going to do A. So we push one over, the next one goes down, and then we'll do kind, K-I-N-D, K-I-N-D, the next one goes down. And so what this has done is it has separated essentially the ones from the zeros. So as I mentioned, the queens would be the ones dealt to the table first, and the number cards would be the ones still in your hand. So there you go. That is the first effect that he mentions here. He calls it version one. So let's look more closely at why they work. 